zombies. Now, I always thought they were just some crazy invention by Hollywood, but they're actually more real than you think. The biology of zombies. Now, our idea of zombies actually comes from the country of Haiti. And turns out, Haiti is the epicenter of voodoo. When you think of voodoo, think of witch doctors. Because you see, in Haiti, people are scared to death that witch doctors are going to turn them into zombies. And you say, are you kidding me? That wasn't real. But that's what everybody in the world said until 1980, when a man by the name of Clairvius Narcisse walked into a hospital in Haiti claiming to have been a zombie for 18 years. Now, stuff like that had happened before, this was the first time that doctors actually had proof that he did die. They signed the papers and then they buried him the next day. He actually even had a scar on his face from the nail that got driven into the casket when they buried him. And then he says he remembers witch doctors bringing him out of the grave and being turned into a slave working in the cane fields, which is crazy. Now, how could this happen? Well, Wade Davis decided he was going to go down to Haiti, immerse himself in the culture and figure it out. So he went down to Haiti and had a bunch of zombie potions analyzed. They all contained tetrodotoxin. Now this is a crazy toxin that comes from puffer fish made famous by the Japanese cuisine fugu. But what tetrodotoxin does is that it lowers your vital functions to such a point that people might actually proclaim you dead and bury you. All right, so here's the theory. Witch doctors take this potion, they blow it on somebody that contains tetrodotoxin. People think they're dead, they bury them, then they dig them up again and turn them into zombies. Tetrodotoxin though is just the trick to make people think you're dead so they write you off and bury you. But there's another drug that actually turns you into a zombified state. And that drug comes from a plant known as Datura. I'm in a whole bunch of plants called Datura. It's a deadly poisonous plant. It has a very strong aroma to it. In fact, it's making me a little bit nervous that while I'm in here, I could uh, take in too many of the fumes. Now, if somebody were to feed you a slow and steady dose of that plant, you would pretty much remain in a zombified state for your whole life. You're halfway between living and dead. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? Stop right there though and realize that this is not a formula for turning somebody into zombies. Very far from it. And changing the amount of toxin even by a small amount would kill you. And that's one of the main critiques that Wade Davis got. Because witch doctors would have to get the exact dosage right. And all the potions that he had analyzed didn't really have the exact amount. But in some ways it's maybe not all that important whether the potions work every single time or pretty much not at all. Because in Haiti, the people believe that the zombies are very real. So there you have it. That's where our modern idea of zombies actually comes from. Unraveled in part by an ethnobotanist and something that in theory has a very real biological basis to it. Pretty cool, huh? If you like what we're doing, watch more of our videos and subscribe to our feed. That was absolutely really gross. Good? peach flavored jello. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that flavor. I wasn't either. It's peach. I was actually expecting something. I spent all my time.